In this tutorial, I'm going to show you that if you want to turn off the password protected sharing, how we can easily do this. So let's get started. So all what you have to do is uh, just go to the start menu of Windows 11 and right here, control panel in the start menu and just go to the network and internet. Just make sure that you have a category view only then you can see uh, this. So if you have something like this, just go to the category view and then just click on network and internet. Again, network and sharing center. And on the left hand side, you will find this change advanced sharing settings. So if you click on that and if it opens a new window, that means you have an advanced view. So don't just worry, uh, just go to the all networks from here. And from here, you can just turn off this password protected sharing and that should solve the problem. Now, after that, just restart your computer and that should solve the problem. Now, the second method is what you can do is just go to the registry settings and turn off the password protection from there. So what you can do is just go to the run command here from the start menu and right here, regedit, hit enter, just click yes. And from here, just make sure you scroll up and go to the H key local machine. Just go to the system right here. Now just find the current control set here, right here in the system. And then just go to the control and just scroll down until you see the LSA. Now from the LSA option, you will find this right hand pane where you see all the files here. Just double click on everyone, include anonymous, double click here. If it is set to zero, you can set it to one and click OK is now the third setting is just go to the HK local machine and just go to the system here and go to current control set here and then just go to the services here and just search for landman server key so I'll press L here so that we can find it quickly landman workstation it says this is landman server now what you can do is just extract that and go to the parameters from here and under the parameters just go to the restrict null access. Now here just click on restrict null access value here and if it is set to 1 just set it to 0 and press OK. So that's it guys these are a couple of solutions which may solve your problem. I hope this helps and if it helps just like the video and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one.